Hey guys. Hi. Who's in here? I can't. Okay. Welcome everybody. Happy Thursday. We made it almost to the weekend. Oh um, I hope you guys are all super, super excited. We have a really, really crazy, really fun training class like webinar today. As you can see, I'm joined by a new face today, a super, super, super special guest. She's one of my favorite, favorite people that works at Flirt for Free. She's an amazing part of the team. A lot of you have probably spoken to her and just maybe didn't know it was her. So Jessica, if you want to give everybody a quick intro, let them know how long you've been with the company and what you do at Flirt. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, hi guys, I am the broadcast support manager. So pretty much any time you live chat or email or call, you're talking to somebody that's on my team. So they're here to support you. I'm here to support you. I've been in the company for about four years and a couple months now. And it's been a ride and it's been amazing. And every time I get to like talk to you guys or the team talks to you guys, we get really excited and we get really happy to learn about you guys and learn more about the site and what you guys need. So don't ever feel afraid to like come talk to us or if you need anything, use the live chat button and use the email option because those are probably the easiest ways to call us right now because we're also working from home, obviously. So definitely contact us and yeah, we're always here. Yes, yeah, so Jessica runs an amazing team. They're 24 seven. So anytime, day or night, whatever day of the week, there's always gonna be somebody from Jessica's team that is there to help. Um, and the reason that Jessica's here today is because today's webinar is gonna be on our studio admin. So this is the first time we've ever done like a full top to bottom tour. So we're gonna be going over every single option, where to find, because like, it seems kind of like a silly topic because like we all spend so much time in admin that it's like, why would we go through it? But like Jordan and I, who normally does the webinars, like every time we would do a webinar, we would have people asking us like, you know, we'd be talking about a random topic like VODs or fan club or whatever. And people would be like, wait, how do I do that? Or I've seen other models do it, but I don't know where to find that option. So um, yeah, so we're gonna be going through it. We're gonna talk about different sections, how to do different things, how to best utilize the tools. So um, yeah, yeah, we're ready to get started. Really exciting. I think that a lot of things that are in model admin are really underrated and I think it's important that we go through them for you guys and you guys like take notes, definitely take notes so you guys can refer back later or just watch this later on. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go through a lot today and I have a couple notes on things that I really love and every time somebody comes and talks to me or needs like additional support, these are the areas that I'm like obsessed with. So we'll go through those. We'll go through the whole model admin and then I'll jump in and give you guys some tips that I've just learned over time. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions or wanna go and go over something in more depth, feel free to send them in, um, especially if it's like whatever tool we're on. And if there's any other questions that we just didn't get to or whatever, feel free to send them in like in the questions tab. And then at the end of the webinar, we'll go through and do like a little Q and A and stuff. Yeah. Um, can everybody see the screen, the model admin screen? I can see it. I think it looks okay, great. Okay, if anyone needs me to like zoom in or make anything bigger, just let me know and we can totally adjust it. But as we can all see, this is the main admin screen. So whenever you log into your model account, this is what you're first gonna see. Um, you know, this banner up here is always changing and it's just based on whatever the new thing is. So right now, obviously it's all about Cancun and Summit, which we're super, super excited about. But, um, you know, in October, it switches to like flirt of the year. So whatever cool new thing is going on, you're gonna see right here. Um, here, of course, you see your profile picture, your tagline, your credit level, all that kind of stuff. Now, one really, really important thing that I think every single model, every single admin person should pay really close attention to is this little box underneath your photo. Because one of the things that I love so much about Flare is that we always have so many cool things going on. We're super competitive. There's so many contests and like a lot of models, especially like newer models will sometimes like tell us that like they feel like they can't go for a contest or they would never win or they just wouldn't have a shot to, to go for it. And that's why I think it's so important to really pay attention because like when you go into here and you click in, you can actually see exactly what the contest is about. So, you know, some of them are just like a top 10, top six. 
those I get that, you know, might be a little harder, but we also do all types of other contests like auto wins where like with the auto win contest, for example, if you're a new model or a model that's never gone for a contest before, this is the one to go for because you're not competing with any other models on the site. You're just competing against yourself. You know, if you win 10,000 credits, 20,000, 30,000, you win the contest. You know, you win the cash prize, which is amazing. We all, you know, want to yeah. make more money, but you also get posted on the site as a winner. You're on the Twitter as a winner. So like it helps you build more recognition on the site as well, or even random draws. 5,000 credits in that day, you're entered into a random draw and 40 models win. So, you know, there's so many different types of contests and this is where you can see exactly like what days the contests are, what the contest entails, how to win, how many prizes, like everything you'll find right here. Love that. And you guys only have to broadcast at least for an hour to be in it. So these are for literally anybody. It's not just about top models or who you're following on the site or if you think you don't have a big enough customer base. These are so you can get a larger customer base. As soon as a promo starts, you need to be online. You need to be a part of the promo. You need to be dressed up. You need to be ready because they will come. If you're dressed up and you're a part of the promo and you're on topic, customers are just going to want to come to you for that. They love this. A hundred percent. And like one other thing that's that's like really important too to keep track of this is like, for example, this contest is pretty much a month away. It's June 22nd. It's an auto win. So it's like if you get 10, 20, 30,000 credits and work an hour, like Jessica said, you're golden. You won. But besides like scheduling that for yourself so that you make sure that you can be online June 22nd, it's just as important to get your customers, to get your members, your fans excited about this and to give them the opportunity to plan ahead as well, you know, because um, especially if you're a model that maybe doesn't have, you know, huge spenders that have unlimited amounts of money, like or more budget, like this allows them to sort of sort of save ahead of time and sort of make sure that they have the credits ready to go to help you win this contest. Or if you have a customer that can spend a lot, but they're always traveling, they have a really crazy work schedule, like they can't be online all the time. This is a way to sort of let them know like, hey, June 22nd, guys, this is a really important day for me. I'm going for my contest, I wanna win. And we'll go over a few tools that you can use to do that. But it's important to plan for yourself, but also allow your customers to plan for it too. Um, what else? So here you can see some quick stats. Obviously, this is a fake model account, so it's all zeroed out. But like when you log in, you would see the quick stats for this current pay period, um, your current ranking, some more stats. You can see our Twitter timeline. So you can, you can see these models won our contest yesterday. So once you win, you're posted on the Twitter. Everyone sees it. Here is a really cool way to make sure you stay on top of news and announcements. You know, like. Uh, last month we announced that the Flirt Summit contest was coming. So like coming here, you could really make sure that any new updates to the site, any new contests, new webinars are doing, it's all right here. Just in case you didn't see the email or went to spam or whatever. And now, oh yeah, really quick, really, really quick. Okay, so then I'll let Jessica talk about scheduled shows. But <laughs> as you can see, there's a little option here that you probably have never seen before. It's the mobile PA option. So we're super, super close to releasing this. I know we've been saying this for like forever, but like we've had a lot of models on the site tested out over the last month and give us a lot of great feedback. So we're like in the final stages of just fine tuning this mobile app. But basically once it's released, you guys will log into your admin here. You'll click here and this will open up the mobile PA onto your phone. You guys, it's so cool. I mean, Jessica, you've tested it's it. What are your so thoughts? Cute. It is so useful. I promise you, it's even easier than using just the regular form application. It's, it's very simplified. It looks very nice. So, I mean, it's gonna be a really good tool for you guys. We just still wanna make sure you guys follow the rules when that does come out. Don't broadcast in public. Don't broadcast <laughs> at a mall, please. Just still keep it safe for you guys. But other than that, I mean, it's it's going to be amazing. It's just going to change the game. Yeah, and like Jessica said, it's so simplified. It's so easy to use, but it still has pretty much every single feature that the main desktop PA has. So you'll be able to do party chats, whispers, notes. Everything is in there. Um, and the video quality from what we've seen looks like really, really phenomenal. So yeah. that'll be really cool. So as you can see, that's here. Now, the first option here is scheduled shows, which... Oh, my gosh. Scheduled shows love. are really exciting, you guys. I know it's kind of stressful because there is a lot of requirements to be able to schedule show, but don't let it deter you. Actually let it motivate you because scheduled shows are so important and you will get such a high customer base just by being shown on that 
first box on the site, they will just flood into your room. I promise you, look, we have a special going on right now. So what you do is you just go in and you put in a title and a subject, description, whatever you're gonna be doing in your show. It does have some requirements. When you go into schedule, it has to be a certain length. So we make sure that's very eye-catching. It's very easy to use. So you just go in, you pick a time, you can see the open time slots. And then um, once you submit it, it's gonna let you know that it's in review. So my team is actually the ones that review that. And what we're reviewing is just making sure your title and description makes sense. We want it to be better for you guys. So we're just trying to make sure that we're assisting you any way that we can. So if we see anything that's, you know, incorrect with like your grammar or whatever it is, we'll go ahead and fix that for you. So you don't really have to worry about that type of stuff. Um, but after it's approved, then you'll see it in your currently scheduled shows and it'll be scheduled. And then my team will also reach out to you a day before your show, 24 hours in advance, and just give you an update that, hey, you do have a show tomorrow so you don't forget. Yeah, and for the scheduled shows, you know, the as long as you have a CPH of 500 or above, you're able to schedule it. Um, we recently made an update so that the scheduled shows are now only one hour in length. And we did that to just give more models an opportunity to be able to schedule this and take advantage of the incredible opportunity. As like Jessica said, you know, when you have that show, you're the first room, the biggest room on the entire site. So like any customer that comes, you're the first thing they're gonna see. So it really does give you that opportunity to build your fan base. Um, and one thing I always like to remind models is that scheduled shows, are for two groups of people. They're for your regulars and they're to attract new people. So, you know, the reason that Jessica's team reviews them and make sure that the titles and descriptions make sense and that it's an actual like event is because we want you to take the best, you know, we want you to make the most of this opportunity. So like, we want you to be able to do something really cool for your regulars that come to you every day and something special for them, but also a way for you to like, get to know other people, to have other people that maybe have never been into your room, see that you're in a show, get curious, go in and then become your fan. So um, like Jessica said, it's important to put a good title, a good description. Um, you can choose your photo and this is the photo that's gonna be on the calendar. Um, so like Jessica mentioned earlier with the contest, if you can make your the photo be something that matches the theme or that like is somehow related to whatever your show is gonna be about, even better because then customers right away know exactly what the show is gonna be about. Um, and yeah, once it's scheduled, you know, you put all the information, um, uh, and you could always go back and re-edit stuff if you go here to the current scheduled show tab. Um, and yeah, as far as like what type of show, I always recommend models select the, oops, the show type as a party chat, yeah. just because party is the most open based thing. And like, you want to take advantage of having the most amount of customers in your room. And as we all know, party chats usually get a ton of customers in the room. And if you're in that top spot, like you're the first, the biggest room, you don't want to close it all. Like you want every single customer to come into that room. So um, even if your model that maybe is like a little more like into privates, doesn't like to do super sexual or explicit things in such an open show, no issue, literally still do a party chat. And then you could always like do like 30, 45 minutes of party chat and then, you know, get the room warm, warmed up and then switch from party to group for like the last 15, 30 minutes and then do the sexual stuff for only the customers that paid. So, you know, you could mix this up however you want. I just recommend spending at least a good chunk of the time in party chat just to take like full advantage. Yes, I agree. And you can schedule super far in advance too. So always make sure you guys are checking the calendar and make sure you're checking those promos because if you can schedule on a promo day, double win, you have it all together, you have a promo that day and you have your scheduled show and you can put in your subject I'm ready for this big promo. Let's go. Let's get it. They're going to come into your room. They are going to want to spend. Exactly. That was a very amazing tip. And like Jessica said, you know, right now you can schedule all the way out to July 25th. So if you have like a Q4 of the July themed thing, if you are going to go for like the June 22nd contest or, you know, just things like that. So you can really, really plan ahead um, with this tool. And the next tool is the messaging system. So this one is super super important whether you're a new model or you know an established model and um you know you can check your messages here that customers send you you could compose new messages to customers i always 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 recommend for new models especially new models like anytime a new customer takes you into a private or spends a ton in a party uh party chat or you know buys into your group chat or whatever come back here at the end of your shift 
And literally, it could be the quickest little message, but just put in their username, subject, and message them something. Like, obviously, you want to be thankful that they came in and let them know that you want to see them again. But always try to put in something personal. If you guys talked about something funny in the private, if they made like a funny joke in the party chat, include that there. Be like, oh my God, I'm still laughing at that, you know, comment, or oh my God, how crazy was that? Like, or even if there was like a user that was being really disruptive or weird, like you could comment on that. Like, something that like makes that user know that, like, you were paying attention and that some little comment they made sparked something even if you don't care and like you'll never think about it again just put it in here because it really like shows customers that like you were paying attention and that it's like there's more to it than just money and this is why user notes are so important because user when notes. you're in the yes so important i literally was just thinking about that use your user notes in your pa or even even in your member dashboard, just use them. So you can literally type anything, anything that's gonna remind you later on, hey, they made this really funny joke or they told you their name even and you use their name in that message, they're gonna feel so special. And they're just, it's made, these messages are made just for them. Unlike when you use a mail blast tool, it goes to everybody. When you're messaging somebody personally, they're gonna feel really important and they're gonna wanna come back to you and that builds those connections. That's what Flip for Free is all about. We want you guys to build those connections. A hundred percent. And like, you can also use these same like notes when the customer comes back to you and enters the room or takes you private, because like, we all think we're going to be able to remember all the details about everything. We all have the greatest memories, but like literally, I'm pro I promise like in a month or two months, it's going to be hard to remember like little details, like what color somebody's car is, or if they work at the bank or if they work, you know, in tech or whatever they do. So like, even if it seems silly to be like, you know, VS Carlos likes to be called Carlos or he lives in LA or whatever, put it in because if VS Carlos doesn't come visit you for a month and then randomly comes back and you're just like, hey, VS Carlos, like, how's it going? Versus like, Carlos, oh my God, it's been forever. How are things at the bank? How's your dog? How's Scotty? Blah, 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 like whatever. So like the notes may seem silly, but literally just put it in. And then one of my favorite tools, which Jessica just kind of previewed, is the Mail Blast tool. So Jessica, take it away. Oh my gosh, this is actually one of my favorite tools ever, and I think it's really underrated. I think maybe you guys, you guys aren't using it either. You guys aren't using it enough, or maybe you guys aren't using it correctly. So I see a lot of these. I have a lot of models favorited because I just really love seeing when somebody sends out a Mail Blast because I'm really interested, and my team reviews these and everything. So we see them all the time. You guys need to make it about the person that you're talking to. So your subject needs to be, hey, I'm looking for you. They're gonna see, you're making your own mailer basically. You have to treat this like this is your business. You know, you're running your own business here. So it's like when, let's say your favorite store has like a big promo, like 50% off or whatever. And they say, hey, we have something for you. You go and open that because you're like, what? It's for me? Like it's specifically for me. Like you feel special because you feel like it's just for you. Although this goes to every single person that spent credits on you, it does not matter. Make it for if they're reading it, they feel like it's just made just for them. So the subject, if there's a promo coming up, back to our promos, if there's a promo coming up, hey, really excited to see you. And then in your message, there's a big promo coming up. I really want to see you in my room. I want to see you that day. You're my favorite, whatever make them feel really special because then they're going to read it and be like oh my gosh they want to see just me they love me they don't they probably don't know this goes to everybody but they're really excited about it when they do read it trust me i get excited when i read your guys so yeah make sure you guys put in their promos or if you're going to be online just so they know to like come into your room it's really exciting so it's one of my favorites i get really excited about this when people actually use it and they're like please come to my room i want to see you like some people just use it to say hey i'm going to be online later which is great so they know I'm going to be online later, but also use it for promos or if you have a scheduled show coming up, it's going to go to every single person that's spent on you. Yeah. Even if it's something like you have new lingerie or new boxers, you're going to try it online. You have a new interactive toy. Uh, you switched up your room. Like, you know, you renovated your camera room and you're going to debut whatever new thing you have do it. It gets customers excited. It gets your regulars excited. And it's a great opportunity to maybe re-engage a past customer that hasn't come back in a while. And mm -hmm. you can decide exactly what time, what day it comes out. So like, if you know you're debuting your new toy, you know, Friday, the 28th at, you know, 1 PM, maybe have this go out at noon or right when you're going to come online. So that customers see it, they click and directly into your room. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool too, is you could either send it to everybody or 
you can send these mailers only to your fan club members. So like if you have a big fan club and like you are going to, you know, dump a bunch of new photos or new videos, or you're going to do, or you're, even if you're posting like your members only shows, like I'm doing my fan club shows every Tuesday at this time, send it this way or let people know in your fan club what's coming next month so that they're more, you know, likely to maybe extend that membership to like want to repay because they don't want to miss whatever is coming next month. So you could use it anyway. You could add photos, you send it, Jessica's team reviews it and it goes out to everybody. So definitely a great tool that you, you guys definitely should be using. Yes, please. Then the last part of the inbox is the virtual gifts. I know it seems like silly because it's just like a sticker basically, but like I'm telling you customers like are obsessed with these, like they love getting them like, and you'll see like, if you start sending this, especially to like new users, like you'll see them start to come back because it's like a fun surprise for them. And you know, it could be something as silly as like this wine and be like, let's have wine together this Friday. What time can you be online? Like, let's make it a date. Or if it's like a foot fetish guy or a guy that loves to see you in heels, send them this little sticker and be like thinking of you, just something silly that like makes them, you know, more likely to come into your room. And you know, so you basically click whatever gift or sticker you want to send them. You put in the username and a little message, you send it. It's totally free for you to send. And this is another great way to like, maybe like, like maybe somebody came into your room and spent a ton in a party chat, but it was a party chat. There was 150 people tipping. You didn't have time to really interact because you're putting on a show for everybody. So maybe you don't really know details. Maybe you don't know what their nickname is. You didn't have a chance to really interact. So this is a great way to just send them a cute little something and be like, appreciate all the tips. It made my day. Would love to get you, would love to get, you know, get to know you better, whatever. So it's something like this is great for those people that maybe you just didn't get the chance to get to know that well. Yes, I love that. And they also can send you gifts back and uh, some gifts they have to pay for. So exactly. they will pay to send them to you if you send them <laughs> one. You don't have to pay anything, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? So direct messaging is really cool. It's a feature we launched last, last, last November. Um, and basically it's, it's an opportunity where you could launch it either here or you could launch it from within the performer app. And basically a customer can send you a direct message, whether you're online, whether they're online, whether they're in your room or not in your room. So it's a cool feature because it could, you can sort of keep in touch with people, even if you're not online and sort of coordinate, uh, private. The one important thing to know with the DM is that you are able to DM every, like any customer on the site but only VIP customers will be able to DM you back. So like if you DM like a regular user, like a, like a premium or registered user, they'll be able to read your message. They just won't be able to DM you back unless they agree to, to VIP. Where is that app? Damn addictive ass. What are you, are you asking about the performance? Oh, yeah, so like the mobile app is coming. It's not out soon. When I said app, I meant like you can access the direct messages from the performer application, like the desktop, like when you're broadcasting live, or you could access it from here, from your admin. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So now we're moving on into the bio. So this is super, super important. Me. You know, this is where you can control your bio information, your photos. Um, one thing with the with like the bio that we get a lot of questions on from new models is like with the categories where like you pick you know these three um i'll say this most customers like the majority of them go to the main site and scroll and sort of go into a room based on the photo um however as we know there are some customers that are super specific and would use the categories because they're specifically looking for a brunette girl or a blonde guy or you know a guy with big muscles or a girl with big boobs or whatever like so there are those specific customers but the majority are just going to do it based off the main site. So, you know, having said that, what I always recommend is like, don't pick a category just because you think like, oh, you know, guys on the site are going to want, you know, big muscle guys, because like, I'm not a big muscle guy. So like, if I choose that and I appear there, you know, a customer is going to scroll right past me because it's like, they're not looking for that. <laughs> <laughs> so like, make sure you pick the categories that go most with you. So that if a customer is specifically looking for a brunette or for, you know, whatever, like a Latina or a European model, whatever it is, like put that there so that they, you know, it's easier for them to find you if they are specifically looking for that. Um, what else, you know, with the bio, it's important to fill all this information out. One thing I do notice with guys and girls actually is that um, people have makeovers, you know, they get haircuts, they switch the hair color, they get tattoos, you know, they, they do different things. And I think sometimes they forget to update it here. So like, 
if you cut your hair, if you change the color, if you get a tattoo, make sure to update it here because it just makes it easier for customers to find you. Um, especially because there are customers that like love girls with tattoos. There's customers that love girls with long hair, short hair. So like you want to make sure that to keep this updated as you update your look and more importantly, update those photos. Like we'll get to that in a second, but yeah, super important. And then yeah, make sure to put in your languages in the likes and fantasies and show information and stuff. Like obviously this is a sexual site. Webcaming is a sexual job, but don't only make it all about the sexual stuff, you know, because if a customer goes to your room right as you're logging off and they like you, most likely they're going to go to your bio. Or if a customer comes to the site and looks you up and you're not online, they're going to take the time to look through your photos, to read through your bio. And if all the information is sexual, I mean, that's great. They obviously want to know what a private with you is like. They want to know what your likes are, what your fantasies are. But I always recommend like include some real stuff, include some hobbies, include some likes, like if, what kind of music you like, what sports you're into, you know, traveling, cooking, whatever it is, because as a customer reads it, then in their mind, you're not just someone to like do sexual things with, but now you're somebody that they can talk to about their likes, their hobbies, and maybe something you wrote in there is something that they love. And now they can't wait to take you into that private to talk about their trip to Italy or to talk about, you know, Britney Spears' new album or whatever the thing is that you put in there. Um, and another thing that like, I don't mean like in a mean way, but like a lot of customers that come to this site are coming to this site either because they don't have time for a relationship in real life because they're busy or their job doesn't you know, allow it. Or maybe they just don't have the social tools to build those relationships in real life. Maybe they're a little shy, maybe they're a little awkward. So like if you include some information here, it sometimes also gives them something to go off of. Like when they take you into, the, into private, they're probably gonna be intimidated and they won't know what to talk about. But if you put in there that you love, you know, soccer, they might just be like, hey, did you watch the game last week? Are you excited for the World Cup? Like, did you watch Adam Sandler's new movie last weekend? Like, it was my favorite. It's on Netflix. Like, what, whatever it is. And then that sort of, like, allows you to sort of, like, start to have those conversations with them. Yes, I agree. And make it so it's about you. Don't make it about what you think they want to see and what they want to hear. <clears throat> Nobody, they're not going to come to you and ask you, you know, they're going to come, well, they are going to come and ask you questions. And then you're going to be like, oh, I have no idea because I, but it's in your bio. Make it about you. Make it about stuff. <clears throat> sorry, you really love and you're really going to want to have in-depth conversations about. Again, this is about making connections with those customers so they'll keep coming back to you. This is not about a one and done type of thing. We want them to keep coming back and actually want to spend on you more. So make sure it's personable for you. A hundred percent. Um, and then, the, you know, the last part of the bio is like, if you have any fetishes that you do like to perform or that you do like, make sure to put them here, put in the categories that, you know, you feel comfortable doing again, so that a customer knows before they even take you private, what you're into, what you're not. Um, yeah. And include what toys you have. A lot of customers love toys, love to know what toys people have. So all this stuff is great. Um, but I think more importantly is the photo. So Jessica, if you want to give some little tips on profile pics, gallery pics. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. So we also review all of these. I'm just going to let you guys know we review everything that comes onto the site. You guys might see that sometimes your stuff is in review. Um, it's going to my team and I love looking at photos, especially high quality photos. Please just, even if you set up your cell phone, your cell phone takes amazing photos. Even if you can set up your cell phone somewhere and just have it on a timer and take photos of you, it's going to stand up out a lot more than if you're just like putting up random stuff. They want to see you and they want to see your personality. So if you have fun photos of you smiling or anything that's going to relate back to a promo, if you can go to anything or dress up as anything that's going to relate to a promo and you update that when a promo hits, they're going to see that on the site. The first thing they're going to see is those photos. So you want to make sure they're high quality and they're about you and it shows your personality. And you wanna make sure you have a lot of them. This is gonna lead back to your power score. We'll go through it later, but it's gonna lead back to your power score so you can have 50 photos, you'll get that boost. So make sure you're updating those. Like Carlos said, if you get a haircut, if you know, whatever, you change your body type, whatever it is, make sure you just update all of that in your bio and make sure you show that in your photos. Make sure you're always uploading new photos so they can see what you look like now and not six months ago. It's really important that they see what you're gonna look like so they don't see an old picture of you as a blonde, they come into your room and you're now you're a brunette. They're gonna be like, who, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought, make sure you're just up updating those photos all the time. 
And also make sure that the photos are like reflect who you are, reflect your personality. Don't feel like just because the other girls on the site have super glam photos and that's not you that you have to have that. You know, different customers are looking for different things. And like Jessica said, like when a customer sees that photo and they love that photo and they go into the room and then the person in the room doesn't exactly match, it's kind of like a weird experience for them too. Cause then they're like, oh, like, you know, not what I was expecting. So you want it to like reflect your personality, what you look like, all that. You know, and the difference between these two for me is like your profile photos, like Jessica said, should be like your best quality photos. They show you in your best light. I always recommend that for girls and guys, we can clearly see your face. Um, it shows your body without showing too much. Like, you know, you want it to be like an attention grabbing photo that people are going to see and be like, whoa, got to go in that room. But you don't want to give it all away. Like you don't want to be, I don't recommend being naked in the profile photos or showing too much. It's all about being like sexy, but like that fine line of like not too not showing too much um gallery photos you could be a little more like expressive with like if you have artsier photos if you have more casual photos more selfie type photos um vertical photos any type anything like that throw into your gallery um because it's just more content for customers to see and, and, and to get to know you um you could change the photos here. If you are a model that loves to do fetish and you hit up Jessica's team, they can enable the fetish category for you. And then you're able to have two different photos. You're able to have your regular default photo. And then you're also able to have a separate fetish photo that would only show on the fetish side of the site so that you could attract both types of customers. So that's another great thing to take advantage of. If you're a model that enjoys fetish shows or can you know put on good fetish shows um, for customers, and one quick thing that I almost forgot, what Jessica said is so true with the selfie. Like when I first started at Flirt, there was this model, she's still on the site, she's been a top model since she started, um, and her name is Trisha Starr. And for a really long time, when she first started, her profile photo was a selfie, but it wasn't just like a regular selfie. It was like great lighting. It was like perfectly taken. Like you could tell that she probably took several and picked like the best one. So it doesn't have to be like a photo shoot. Like most iPhones nowadays, like take amazing photos, you could do like the studio, I don't know, like there's a lot of functions in there so that you could get great yeah. photos. So like take advantage. And if it's if you've noticed that like it's been like a week or two and it's been a little slow, like you're not really getting any new customers, switch that profile photo. I guarantee you this is gonna bring in some new customers. Like something as simple as like just switching your photo can make a huge, huge difference. Yes, I agree. What else? Oh yeah, bio section layout. This is something that I don't know if a lot of models know about, but it's really cool because you could actually 100% customize what your bio is. Like you could decide like, well, I don't have video, so I don't want this to show. Or, you know, I love my photos, so I want my photos to be like the first thing people see. Um, you know, if you want your badges, your awards to show up higher too, so that people know how great you are, what you've accomplished. And you, know, you can choose the order and you can select or deselect whatever areas you want to show up. So this is a way for you to also customize that bio. Yes, I love that feature. And it, always be aware that it does take a little bit to update. So if you do it right away and then you go to your bio, it's not going to be right away. So I always want to put that disclaimer. It does take a few minutes. It takes a little bit for it to update on there. So once you do, once you do it and you want to go check it out, <clears throat> just make sure that you just wait a few minutes so it can update on the site. A hundred percent. And the next one is geo filter. So this is like, uh, if you want to block a certain country from being able to access your room, if you want to block certain states in the US or in Canada, um, you could also block them here. Um, and you know, this won't affect your traffic. So like in this case, this test model is Columbia block. You could always edit this later. I don't recommend blocking too, too many places, you know, cause you don't want to block too many chains of traffic. But if you need to block a few states, a couple countries, no big deal, you do it here. And you're in total control. You could always unblock, reblock. It's, it's totally up to you. Yes, I agree. Yeah, Make sure actually, if you do block your own state or country, you're not going to be able to see yourself on the site. So if you want to go check out your own bio, you're not going to be able to do that. So just make sure you, you're aware of that because it, it will block yourself. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um, I'm, I hope I say this right. Mauricia uh, asked about okay. social media. So that's actually the next one. Um, and she asked, are we allowed to share our Twitter or Instagram wall online or put it in the topic? I personally, when I, when people ask me what to put in the room topic, I don't think your room topic is for your social media. Your room topic is to put a topic out there that you want to talk about with your customers. That's going to go off every time someone comes into your room or if you keep clicking it, it's going to go off a bunch. 
So it's not really for your social media. This displays on your bio. So you can just tell your customers, hey, scroll down and see my social media. Don't use it for your social media. Don't use your room topic for your social media. Use it for like, hey, I want to talk about my favorite sports or what's your favorite sport. So it starts a conversation. That's what your room topic is for. Yeah, so technically you're allowed to, but it, it wouldn't be making the best use of the topic. Um, even like bring it back to the contest. If it's a contest day, put it up there. If you're running something cool for your customers, like if you're doing a giveaway, like, you know, if I win the contest or the top tipper gets a free video or free fan club, put that in there, like put all that stuff in there. If you have credit goals, if you have a tip menu, tip menu is actually something that I probably would put in there because I would not want to be asked like 30 times a day, like how much to see a flash or how much for X. So I would just put some sort of generic tip menu there with like the basic most common requests. So that a customer comes in, they see it, they know if they tip 50 flash or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, here in the social media section, you could link your Twitter, your Instagram, your Snapchat. Um, what's cool about the Twitter too is that you could also turn on auto tweet. So when you turn on auto tweets, you'll click this, you'll get this pop up and basically you link your Twitter account to your VS model admin account and you actually get to select what tweets you want to go out. So uh, for example, every time you start a party chat, uh, every time you get a new badge, every time you win a contest or get a really big tip, you select it and then it auto sends a tweet. And what's really cool is you can either choose from our pre-selected uh, tweets and that's what will get sent out, or you could do the second option, which is what I recommend, which is write your own pre-selected tweets so that every time it happens, it chooses one of the tweets that you wrote out ahead of time and sends that out. That way it's more of like, in your voice and it's not gonna be something that maybe another model's tweeted because they're using the auto ones. Um, but this is a great, great feature to sort of add more content to your um, Twitter feeds. And what's really cool too is every single auto tweet includes your link. So if a customer clicks it, it takes them directly into your room. Also, it's your member bonus link, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. But basically for new users that maybe stumble upon your Twitter, don't know about Flare for free, click it. If they register, they become a referred user of yours and you win double for anything they spend on you. Yes, 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 yes. And then next, okay, so wish list we're still working on. Um, we're looking for a new company to add on. So as soon as we have that, you'll be able to do the wish list stuff again. Um, schedule is a great option. You know, it, it allows you to add in your schedule so that on your bio, customers can see like what hours you work, what days, and you can update, update this anytime. I recommend doing it just because it's something you kind of set up once and then it's just done. And then if a customer were to go onto your um, bio, if you weren't online, they would be able to know when they're gonna be able to catch you next. Yes, and again, I want you guys to treat this like it's your business, like you're running. We give you all of the tools so you guys can run all of this yourselves. You guys don't have to rely on really anything else other than logging in and being online and be bubbly and personable but we give you all these tools so you can gain those that customer base and they're actually going to trust that you're going to be online at these times and they're going to want to come back at those specific times and again if you have a customer who says oh i work nine to five i'm always on at 7 30 and this is like your main customer be on at 7 30. use that user note make it on your schedule i will be on at 7 30. they are going to think it's just for them these customers aren't going to think about other customers they're thinking about wow, she's online or he's online just for me. So make sure you guys are updating those schedules. Yeah, and like obviously we understand like you have to take vacations, you have to take time off. Sometimes you won't be able to be online, literally no problem. But what I always recommend is like send at least your top users a quick heads up, like a quick message either with the inbox or through a fan club mailer or something. Just being like, hey guys, going on vacation for a week. I'll take great pictures for you guys, you know, I'll be back X day. That way they know you didn't just leave the site and you're never coming back, but they know like, oh, she's on vacation, he's on vacation, you know, he'll be back next Friday. I can't wait to see him or whatever. Um, and that's also a cool way to tie in new stuff to your fan club because you could sort of like send this mailer to your fan club, let them know that you're gonna be on vacation. And then when you come back, upload like photos and cute videos you took on it. And then they sort of feel like they were a part of it or they kind of get an idea of what you were up to or how your vacation went. Um, which leads us back to the blog, which for the blog, what's cool is you can actually do it just for Flirt for Free, just for your fan club or for both. So this is a great way, um, if you're interested in this, just to do this once a month, once a week and just update people on what you're what you're doing off the site, what you're doing on the site. You know, if you like to write stories or fantasy fiction things, like whatever it is, you could throw it into here. Um, it's a great way to add content to your fan club that doesn't necessarily have to be photos and videos. Um, 
And, you know, and again, one thing, you know, like Jessica said, we give you guys all these tools. Don't feel like you have to use every single one of them. Like I actually don't recommend that every model use all of them. I recommend that you really look at which ones go with your online persona, which ones go with your vibe online and what you do and what type of model you are. And also which one is, which ones are things that your customers are going to enjoy? You know, if you have customers that just want all the content in the world all the time, blogs are probably great for you. If you have customers that prefer to just sort of chit chat and be in private with you, then maybe Flirt Phone is a better option because they maybe aren't as interested in the content. They just want that connection. They want to hear your voice. So it's, it's all based on that. So again, don't feel like you have to use every single tip or like, or sorry, every single um, yeah. tool. <laughs> yeah, use what's best for you guys. We're giving you all these tools, but you don't have to go every day and be like, huh, my photos, huh, my bio. Oh my God, so I'm like, don't stress yourself out. <laughs> Just as long as you know that they're there and we're teaching you how to use them so you can use them correctly. That's all that matters. I, oh, uh, Carlos, we don't go on. There's a there's a question about the schedule. Um, Alexia Cage, she wants to know, She it's not, no questions are stupid, by the way. Um, she wants to know, is it her time or their time? Oh, the schedule on the site. So everything on the site is always Eastern Standard Time. So it's always New York time. Um, so depending on where you or your customers are at, it may be a little different. Um, but yeah, scheduled shows any time you ever see on the site, it's always like Eastern time. Like for me right now, it's 1142. Uh, but like in Abern, it says it's 242 because that's, you know, New York time. So it'll be that way. Um, and then Dam Addictive asks, for someone new, what would be your suggestions on the tip menu pricing? Oh my gosh. So always make sure you're not putting like, I'm going to give it all away in my first tip. No, <laughs> uh, always make it really like subtle. So start really subtle. Hey, um, maybe I'll do a dance or maybe I'll do a strip tease or, and then always start at like, I would say like um, 50 or 100 credits is pretty good. And then I would do like increments of either 10 or 15. Usually people will go up 10 or 15 for a flash or if it's something a little bit more. Just make sure you're not breaking any of the rules of the site in that tip menu. So don't be like, I'm going to perform an open. We don't allow performing an open. But make sure it's like something that's going to lead into a private. You always want to make sure your tip menu is going to lead you into those privates where you're paid per minute for something. Don't give it away for free. Yeah, I agree 100 percent. And like even if you're going to do like a party chat, I always recommend, especially if you're a new model that maybe hasn't done a lot of party chats, start with smaller goals that maybe are like silly or like maybe something easy, like a flash. Like it doesn't take a lot of effort. It's something really quick, because what I found is like newer models that start with smaller goals, customers, it's easier for them to meet them. They feel more confident, like, oh, if I send, you know, 20 tips and this other guy sends another 20, we'll reach the goal and I'll actually, you know, the model will actually do whatever the goal was. Because what I've seen happen is like more people start to engage. So then by the time you get to the bigger goals, it's not just two or three customers that might be participating, but it might be 10 or 15 because they're seeing that those goals are being met quick and they're confident that if they send that goal will be met or whatever. Um, Mauricia, I, again, I hope I'm saying that right. She said, can you send members custom videos? Can we send members custom videos? Yes. We're actually going to talk about that in the next section, in the VOD section. So we'll get there. Um, as a new performer, it's hard to stream when other performers that rank me. Angela, we're actually going to address that in just a second with the power score. So we'll have some tips for that. Um, Miss Adriana Russo says, does it stop calculating top tipper when the goal is met? No. So um, that always keeps updating. So even like if you already met your goals or if you, even if you took off the goals completely uh, or set a new one, if somebody tips you like a thousand and that's your biggest tip, like it'll still update that section. Yeah. All righty, so uh, back to this with the fetish. Again, if you want to be fetish, hit up Jessica's team and we can enable it. And this allows you to create a bio um, specifically for the fetish side and choose a photo specifically for the fetish side. Um, and then Jessica, I'll let you take video commercials. Cute, I love video commercials and nobody uses them. <laughs> I feel like nobody uses them. But they're super important because you can set up so many different ones. If you're offline and they go to your bio just to like see if you're online, maybe somebody like really wants to see you that day and they see you're not online, there's a video, there's gonna be a video of you that says like, hey boo, I'm so sorry I'm not online right now, but check my schedule, I'm gonna be on later today or whatever it is. And oh, again, always make it sound like you're talking right to somebody and you're not just talking to like a camera, you're talking directly to that customer because they're the ones watching it. And it's great for breaks too. So if like you you want to take like 
a 10 minute break or something, you don't want to log out, definitely use your break message button. Don't just leave the screen, use your break button and set up a video commercial because then it shows them a video and it, they'll just watch that and they won't leave. If somebody's just sitting there and they're just seeing your picture and you're just on break, <clears throat> they're going to be like, oh no, I'm, I, I'll just come back when she's back on break. But make sure you put up a video so they're watching something about you and you can make it, you know, maybe you want to talk to them about, you know, the last time you're online or you want to tell a story about yourself or you want to keep them engaged, always want to keep them engaged. You want to use the video commercials. You want to upload them and then they'll go into review. We'll make sure they look cute. You have to record horizontally. Make sure you do that because we will reject them if they're not cute like that. And then um, they'll go up on your page right away. You don't have to do anything. Just at the bottom of the screen, if you want to upload multiple, you can select which one is displaying at that time. Yes, you could always switch them out. The video introduction is the, like if you're only gonna do one, do the video introduction because it gives you points to your power score. But like Jessica said, like even guest user commercial, you know, guest users go to your room. They're only allowed to be in your room for X amount of time. I forgot the exact time, but I think it might be like five minutes or something. And then they're kind of kicked out and they're basically told like, if you wanna continue to spend time with this model, you need to sign up. So when that happens, it's just your photo in the background with the pop-up that says like sign up to, you know, keep interacting. But if you do a video commercial, it's actually you, it's actually your voice being like, hey, sign up. The site gives you 120 free credits, you know, for free. You can spend them on me. Let's have fun in private, whatever. It's more likely that this guest user is going to sign up in your room, which helps you with your power score a ton. Like guest user signups is really important. And I'm getting ahead of myself, but so let's pretend I'm a guest user. I saw this video. I signed up in your room. Now you have points for the guest user towards your power score. Now I got my 120 free credits that I could spend on you. Now your CPH went up, so that helped. And now I'm a new distinct spender for you. So you just like increase your power score in three different categories. So like something as simple like this, it's an easy way. Like you could record it. It does. It won't take that long. And it's something that'll be there forever. And that'll help you get better results without you even having to do anything. You know, it's, it's just a video playing for them. Yes, and make sure you're updating it. If you change your hair color, update your video. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, and the software app here, it's like if you ever get a new computer, you know, you can come here and you could re-download the app. Um, and then we get into chat room controls. So the first one is room receptionist. Um, this Ooh, one, like what? Yes, I love this. Yes, the room receptionist is so amazing. My favorite part about it is the notification feature because like, for example, Every time a VIP customer, or more importantly, a previous customer, a customer that we know has credits, a customer with spending history, um, a customer that's part of your fan club, which I think it's right here. So like the, the perform rapper basically say like, BS Carlos just entered, he's a fan club member, or BS Carlos just entered and he has over hundred credits or whatever. That way you as a model know like, okay, this customer has money, I'm gonna you know give them a little extra attention because I know there's potential there. Or this is a previous customer, I'm gonna give them a different greeting. Like I'm not just I'm not just gonna say, hey BS Carlos, I'm gonna be like, yes, Carlos, like, oh my god, welcome back to my room, like blah blah blah. Fan club member. Obviously, we want to greet them very special. We want to make the fan club member feel like they're like part of like something elite, they're part of like our club, like it's like its own little thing. So like you want to make sure to like give people like special greetings. So this helps you with that. You could also make it send greetings. So, like if you want, besides it to notify you, to send this auto greeting to every fan club member or to every guest user. You know, you could say, you could send something like, hey, like whatever, like sign up, get 120 free credits, spend them on me. So like that's an easy way for like all these messages to go through. So like you don't really have to pay attention to the guest users and you can focus on the other ones or whatever it is. So this is a yeah. great, great tool that I definitely recommend you guys use. Yes, and if you're super busy in your room, it's just it'll tell you, so you don't even have to be like, oh, I forgot to say hi. It, it'll say hi for you, so you don't have to freak out if your favorite person came in and you missed it. They won't feel bad. They'll be like, oh, okay, she said hi. That they'll they'll feel a lot better about it. So you don't have to worry as much. Exactly, and then chat room bans are also important because you could ban a customer from the performer app if they're being disruptive. You could also ban them in here just by putting in their name or whatever. Um, one thing that's important is like whenever you ban a user from within the performer app, um, it auto bans it for only 24 hours. So like after 24 hours, they're allowed to come back in. So if you ban somebody in the perform app and it's somebody that you don't want to come back to your room or you want to extend that time, just come here and you're able to extend that ban right here for like 30 days, a year, three years. Like you're able to extend it however long you need to. Yeah. Yes. 
And then the next one is banned words. So same thing, you know, if there are words that you don't want in your room, add them here and then they're, they're banned from your, your chat room. Make sure you just add one word at a time though. We see a lot um, when we're reviewing these that people will try to put in all the words they want to ban. That's like what you're banning is what you're putting in there. So nobody's ever going to put all of those words that you don't like in one sentence. Just add a word, click add word, put in your word, add word, like do it like that. It'll go to review and we, all we want to make sure is that it's not something like like a customer name or something like that. Like we don't want you to uh, ban stuff that you know shouldn't be banned. And if another model has already banned it and it's already been approved, it will just auto ban for you. So it doesn't have to go to review. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so make sure to just add one word. Like if you don't want your real name to be said in your chat room ever, put it in there. If you don't want, you know, if there's, we all have words we don't like. So just, you could put them in here and they're blocked. Here in the blocked users section, you could actually block customers from the DM feature. So if they're like specific VIP customers, you don't want to be able to DM you, you could put it here. It doesn't block them from anything else. It's just the DM. Yeah. Um, traffic sources. So this is something that you can opt in or out of. I always recommend opting into it just because it basically opens up your room to any traffic source. So like we have like tons and tons of white labels. So like a lot of brands like Playboy, Penthouse, Hustler, Cocky Boys, Bellamy, like they're big adult brands that have a lot of traffic and a lot of customers, but they don't do live camming. So we basically let them borrow our site. They create a white label that's branded like uh, Hustler Live or Penthouse Cams or whatever, and customers go to it that like Penthouse, they might not even know they're on Flirt, and all of our models appear there that are opted in, um, and these in their traffic. So it's a way for us and for you guys to just get more people into the rooms. Um, so opt in if, if you're into it. I know some models, you know, maybe are a little more private or they have their group of fans and they don't necessarily want like a a bigger audience or whatever. So you do have the option to opt out at any time. Um, it's totally up to you. But again, for me, it's like the more traffic, the better, the more opportunities to get to know people and to make money. Um, so you can manage that from here. Uh, and then interactive toys here, you can see all the information on the different types. So like the traditional, just somebody tips your toy reacts, the blue, which is where like one of like both you and the customer have a toy and one of your toys can be controlled by the other or the purple, which is both of you guys have a toy and they both react to each other. So we're actually the only site in camming that has it so that you could connect your toy to our app. The customer can connect their toy to our chat. They both interact with each other. They both control each other without you having to share any personal links, any links from apps or whatever. Um, so it's super private. It's super secure. And yeah, it lists what toys you can connect and then how to connect it mobily, which is the only way you can do this sort of like interacting with the customer toys. Yes, get a toy, they're so fun. And customers love them and they'll just tip just to see your your toy go off, they don't care. They're just like, oh, she has a toy, okay, tip. Cause it's gonna buzz, it's gonna go off and it's so fun for them. No, yeah, I like definitely super recommend it. I think it'll help everybody with their earnings like increase. So now we've talked about a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. We still have a few more things to go through, guys. So like, um, we'll try to go through it quickly because I know it's been almost an hour. But ways to make money, super important. We all are here to make money. And member bonus is one of the ones we talked earlier. So always go here. Um, this is your link. So like if you have social media accounts and you have followers that might not know about Flirt or you've worked other sites and you have loyal customers that don't know about Flirt, if they're gonna sign up on Flirt, make sure they sign up with this link. Any customer that signs up with this link gets linked to you as, as you, the referral, referrer. So basically like, if I follow you on Twitter, I don't know about Flirt, I click on this link, I sign up, I'm now your referred customer. If I spend a thousand credits on you in a private show, you get those thousand credits and on top of it, Flirt, we're gonna give you another thousand credits as your bonus for referring. So you, you earn double on everything they spend on you lifetime. This does not work in your live chat room. Do not put your link in your live chat room. If, yes, they're, already please do in not. There, if they're already in there, you're not getting the hundred percent. I'm so sorry, but you're not going to get it. You have to, you have to bring them to the site brand new. It's like somebody who follows you on social media and they talk to you a lot and you really want them to sign up on flirt and spend money on you. Here's my link, please, please sign up via my link. You don't even, you don't have to tell them like, oh, your member bonus or anything. Just here, use my link and sign up super easy. It gives them a link right to the sign up page. They're gonna sign up and they're gonna wanna spend on you. So make sure you always do it through social media or if you're texting somebody or whatever, don't do it through your live chat room. You won't get the 100%. 
Yes, exactly. And here you could actually keep track of every single referred customer. And you'll see there's blue check marks and red. So the red or orange one is member referral. So you're getting 100% bonus. This is a customer that signed up with your link. The blue one is guest conversion. So any guest user that we either we send to your room or that stumbles onto your room, if they sign up in your room, they are linked to you as a guest conversion. You get a 5% bonus for anything they spend on you on the first two weeks. Again, member referral is lifetime. So that's 100% bonus for forever. Yes. And then friend referral is something similar. So you guys all have your own custom link here too. And with this, basically, if you have friends, people you know that may be interested in camming or like you know they want to try it out, if they're going to sign up, make sure they sign up with this link because that model would be linked to you as a referral and you would get a 10% bonus on their net earnings lifetime. So if that model works, you know, basically as long as you guys work, you would continue to get that 10% bonus. Um, and that doesn't come out of their like earning. So basically like they get their scale just like yours. Um, they get paid on that. We just pay you an additional 10% commission on their earnings as your bonus for referring them. So, um, and you have to be broadcasting and to get that, if you stop broadcasting, you're just relying on your friend broadcasting, you're not going to get their percentage. So make sure you're continuously broadcasting. Yes. So yeah, if you have any friends that are looking for a job and are interested, make sure to give them that link. Um, contest FAQs are great because you could sort of do like an overview of like all the rules like Jessica mentioned, you have to work one hour that day. And you could also read about the different types of contests. So like top model bonus, random draw, auto win, model of the week. But like there's so many contests, you can kind of read it here just to make sure that, you know, you're in the know with them. Um, and then VODs, super, super important. Um, and there's two types of VODs. There's the automatic VOD. So basically anytime you're in a private show, group chat or party chat that lasts four minutes or longer, it auto records as a VOD, which you could then sell on the site. Or if you don't feel comfortable with that being out there, you can set individual ones to private or you can set all of them to private. Um, and the other ones are the uploaded videos, which are like your own content that you create that you want to upload. And you can upload these for everybody to purchase, or you can upload them specifically for only certain people to be able to purchase. Yes, those are important. So like if we go here, we'll be able to see all of our recordings and you know, you could click into one. So like here we click into this one here, you could set the title, uh, you could set a description so that customers can find it easier. And then right now this one, for example, set the active to everybody. Anybody could purchase it. It's set to 50 credits. If you want to increase it. We just go like 150 or maybe we decide, you know what, this maybe should just be for the original customer. Like I don't really want this video out there for everybody. We switch it up there. We save it and done. You can also give this video for free to somebody. So you can um, enable to give it just to that person, or you could click here and then we just give this video to, let's say, BS Carlos, and we're gonna give it to him for seven days or for 24 hours or whatever it is. Uh, you have to upload to your fan club for them to be for your fan club members, or you can gift them at the bottom of the BOD. It'll say if you wanna give them access, you can give specific people access. But you can't just make them, oh, I want this one just for this person or my fan club or whatever. Upload to your fan club. Yeah, we'll, uh, in the, ne the next section is actually fan club, so we'll cover that one there. Um, but if you want to upload like your own content to this, but it's not like for your fan club, it's just for the site in general, you go here, you click upload, you know, you put it up. And what's cool is you can either upload it to everybody or um, in this section right here, you can make it custom. You'll click that and then you put in the username. So only that user will be able to see that video or purchase that video unless you're gifting it to them, in which case it would be free for them. Um, you could do that here. Now, a new feature that we just launched is actually you can set all of your VODs to private at once. Yay. Uh, oh, it's in settings. Sorry. <laughs> it's like brand new. But basically here, if it's set to no, it means everybody can see it and you can do it retroactively or from today onward. So like if you click here, it, this will make all of your videos from forever available. Or if you don't have that clicked, it'll start as of today. Um, if this is set to yes, that means all of your videos are private. So only the customers that took you into that private would be able to see or purchase that video and the other ones would not be available. And then lastly, you could go here to create packages. So like if you have like, you know, a set of like three videos that are like striptease videos or twerk videos, you, know, you could put them into a little package. You put the title. So this could be like, I don't know, twerk package one or whatever. Um, 
and then you put it available to purchase so that a customer can purchase that bundle of videos. And normally it's discounted. So like if all the videos would have cost 300 credits, you could maybe sell this bundle for 200. So they get one free or whatever. Uh, so this is another great way to promote and sell the, the VODs. And then fan club. So here is where, as, so to create a fan club, you just have to have 10,000 lifetime credits and then you could create it. You know, if you go to general here, you could put your title, your description, change the text color, you know, customize it a little, a little bit. And then here's where you see your members list. So here's where you could see which members are part of your fan club and whether you gifted it to them or they paid and when that end date is. So this is a great way to keep track of like, if a bunch of customers are about to, you know, um, their fan club is about to expire, maybe remind them that like the renewal date is X or whatever. Um, if you want to gift this to somebody, like if you, if there's a customer in your room that you think has a lot of potential, you want to sort of give them a little something special, but it's not necessarily free time in private. You could gift it to them for a day, a week, you know, you decide how long. And this is something that I think is really effective. You know, when a customer is part of your fan club, their text in the chat room appears in a different color. Um, they just feel special. They feel like they're a part of something. Um, and it sort of helps you build up your fan base. Um, members of the fan club also get 5% off of your private show rate when they take you private. So all that's here. And then here's, you can add content. So like if you add a blog, photo videos, so like if you go here, this video will only go to your fan club. Yes. And in your video introductions, um, like we did video commercials earlier, you can't be performing in those. So like your break message and stuff, you can't perform in those, but your fan club ones, if you wanna upload something special and you wanna be performing, uh, upload it to your fan club so they can get an extra sneak peek. You don't wanna give that away for free by using it as a break or a video introduction. Exactly. And then the next two options are kind of similar. It's Flirt Phone and Flirt SMS. So Flirt Phone is 100% free. Uh, to create, to sign up, basically like a customer calls us and then we redirect them. So like when they go to your profile and they say they wanna call you, our site gives them a code that links them to you. So what's cool about this is that you basically put in here your phone number, you put in here how much you're gonna charge per minute, but the customer never actually sees your real number and you never see the customer's real number. So it's all completely private. And then that customer would have to pay per minute to have that conversation with you. Yeah. And you could charge anywhere from 10 to 500, you know, it's totally up to you. Yeah, you can add special rates for people too. If you want to add like a specific customer who said, oh, I'm going to be on a two hour long phone call with you tonight. Can you add a special rate? You can go and do that for them. A thousand percent. And same with SMS, you could customize the rates. The difference with SMS is that you have to have earned at least 500 credits to be able to start this. I don't recommend SMS for new models because you need to build that customer base up first. Um, because this one actually does, so we actually have to create like a, a phone line for you to be able to use SMS. And it works kind of like WhatsApp or like a text app where like um, you're texting, but it's with a fake number that we create and put on. Um, so because of that, it does cost 50 credits a month to keep this line active. So I wouldn't do this unless you have a big fan base or you're confident, like you know you have customers that are gonna wanna use it. But what's really cool about it is that you can send videos, photos, text, like it, it's just like texting on your phone. Um, and like Jessica said, you could set specific rates for certain people. Um, and it's a great way to stay in touch with your customers, especially if they're customers that are a little needier or want, you know, to be talking with you, even if you're offline. So instead of like DMing for free on Twitter, you could do it via this and still earn some credits, you know? Yeah. And you can send photos on there. So if they want, if you want to send like a sneaky photo, um, yeah, do it through for SMS or if you want them to sign up for for SMS, that's a good way for them to do it. Hey, I, I have a sneaky photo I wanna send you, set up your Flare SMS and I'll send it. That way you're texting it to them and you're not just using the messaging system. Uh, I've got a question going back to the fan club real quick. So I actually just looked it up. The maximum uh, length of a fan club video is 600 seconds, which in minutes is 10 minutes. And then I don't think there's a minimum for the fan club video. If you're gonna upload your own video like to the site, I believe it has to be at least four minutes. But for fan clubs, it could be short, long. Um, it just can't be longer than 10 minutes um, for it to upload. Mm -hmm. And then I know Jessica loves this next one, so I'll let you take this one. I love tip targets. I don't think anybody, um, not a lot of people use them. I see it like very rarely, but use your tip targets. So when you go to upload a photo, 
Um, you can set it as what type of photo you want it to be. Make sure you're using the tip target option because then you can set it as your tip target. You have to upload it through your photos first. So when you go there, you can add it here to your target photo. So when you're setting this up, make it something that it's like something you really want. So let's say you want, we're about to set out the new mobile PA. Let's say you want a new cell phone. You want to get upgraded. You want to make sure you have good quality. You want to tell your customers, hey, I know about something coming out. Can we please get me this new phone so I can you know, broadcast with higher quality with you guys? Make sure it's something you really want. If you want to like work for a vacation or maybe you want a dog or anything like that, or even an interactive toy, I would definitely do interactive toys so they can buy you those. But it's a great way for them to also get to your bio. So I always try to tell models, like when I'm giving them advice, like have them link back to your bio in some way. So when they're there, they can turn on the notifications. They can also do that when you're live on your room. They just click the heart button. But make sure when they're doing their tip target, like, oh, go look at my tip target. They don't have to leave your room to do that. They just have to scroll down on your page and it'll say load more and they can see your tip target there. They can just click right to it and they can add money to it. So have them do that and then say, oh, while you're there, turn on my notifications. You want them to turn on your notifications. We're gonna talk about that in your power score, but make sure that you're putting something that you really want and you're working hard for and let them know that. So they know like, okay, I really want to tip towards this so I can help her out. Yes. So I know it's been a little over an hour, guys. If you have some extra time, stay on. We're about to get to like the really good stuff, like some um, ways for you guys to get some customer information, not customer information, but like keep track of like the customers that are tipping and stuff. So we'll make it quick. Um, we're almost done. There's just so much to go through, but okay. The last section in ways to make money is performer deals. So this is a great tool to use um, to basically you give your members free time in private. So here you put in what their username is, you put in what the code is, you know, whatever it's gonna be. And then here for required time, you could either put like, for example, if we do 10 and five, so in the required time, it's 10 and bonus is five. So after 10 minutes in private, that use that they pay for, that user will get five free minutes, or you can do zero and this user just gets five free minutes. You put how many uses they have and when this deal expires. So they have until Monday to use it, if not it expires, if we leave this blank, it's public. Any user on the site can use it. It applies to everybody. Um, I This is a great tool to use in different ways. So like if it's a, a contest day and it's a really big contest, you really want to win it, you could raffle this off. So you could say like the top tipper will get 10 free minutes in uh, private with me. The second most will get five free minutes or whatever. Or if it's like your best user's birthday or it's the anniversary of when you met, maybe you give them a 20 minute private on your anniversary or whatever, just something to make them feel special that in return will probably get you a lot more money because they'll probably be like really excited, surprised and give you like a huge tip or something. Um, or even like if there's a customer that, you know, was a customer back in the day and hasn't been back in a while, you could send them something like, you know, miss you after 10 minutes, you get five minutes free or whatever. Um, or if it's a new customer that you just feel has a lot of potential, you can be like, hey, I've really enjoyed talking with you in open chat. I'm sending you this code. I'm giving you five free minutes after 10. I would love to talk to you private. Whatever it is, this is a great tool to use, you know, however you want to use it. All right, so moving on to stats. Um, you know, once it loads, this will be your stats page. This is where you're going to be able to see all your stats. Um, What's cool is that it auto defaults to this current pay period, but you could go here and select by specific dates. You could have it update to yesterday, this week, last week, like whatever you want it to be, and it'll all recalculate for you. And you know, once you go to look at the report, it shows you the stats for that pay period, like how much time online, where what your earnings were and where they came from. So you could sort of see what you're, you know, excelling at and stuff. Power score info, your best days. So like if you ever have some extra time, maybe go back and look at which were your best days and try to see if there's a common thread. Like maybe you logged in at this specific time. Maybe it's always a specific day. Um, you know, try to see like what was what was the common thread on all those best days. So you could try to like replicate that more. Um, one tool I love is this calculator. I'm like super goal based. So like if I know my end goal is X, I'm going to keep pushing until I get it. So like if you know this period you want to make $1,000 or $5,000, you put that here and then it rates it off of your current CPH. So basically tell you based on your average earning to earn this much, you have to work this many hours. So it kind of helps you kind of set goals. Like I know I want to earn 5,000 a month or 10,000 a month, whatever it is. And it's sort of, it's like, okay, well I'll probably have to work this many hours. And it just sort of like lays it out in a way that I find, you know, kind of easy. 
Yeah. And just tons of info. You know, it'll tell you your lifetime CPH, um, where your lifetime credits are coming from. It'll show you, like, this is all blank, but it'll basically show you here, like, which uh, CPM rates are your most successful. So, like, maybe 50% of your earnings come from, like, 60 CPM or whatever. So it kind of, like, breaks that down for you, too. Um, and, yeah, so this is, like, the main stats page. Um, and next, we're going to go into the power score. Super, super important. This is the most important. Please stay if you can. I know we're a little over time, but please stay. This is the most important thing. This is what puts you on the site. This is what puts you on a ranking. This is everything. Yeah, so, you know, you can see your total points, your percentage. So the higher the points, higher the percentage. Like top one, you're at the top of the site. And these four categories are 85% of the total score. So CPH, which is your average earnings per hour online. The cool thing about CPH is that it checks today's, the last seven days, the last 14 days, the last month, and lifetime. And it bases it off of your highest CPH. So it'll always be based on that one. The six spenders is 15, and this is the number of uh, customer spending. So the more customer spending, the better. If this area is a little lower, you're struggling in this. This is like the only time I'll ever recommend doing this, but start a group chat or start a party chat. And if it's a group chat, set the entry cost really low. Or if it's a party chat, set really low goals for just silly things. Just so that even if it's 10 credits, just so people purchase. Because if you do a group chat at, like, you know, at a low cost and like 10 customers enter, guess what? Now you have 10 distinct spenders and this probably just went up a ton. Or if you did a party chat and there were a bunch of silly short goals, like 10 credits or whatever, which is a dollar for customers, like. Now you have 10 new customers that tipped you and this just filled up a ton. Your power score just went super high. Um, hours online, obviously, however, however many hours you work. And guest converted, this is any guest user in your room that registered or anybody that registered from your member bonus account. Um, and this is, again, 85%. What's, what I really like about this new version of the power score that we launched like right around the beginning of, of like, the pandemic and quarantine um, was that is that it's ba it's not based on our rules. It's not us saying for the hours you know column to be full you have to work 40 hours or for the CPH to be full it has to be you know 5,000 CPH. It always bases it off of the other models online. So like you know if you're a girl it's comparing you to the other girls if you're a guy to the other guys and. And that's what's cool, you know, if like the average hours online goes up one week, you're gonna have to work more hours to fill that up. But if it goes down, you're gonna need less hours to have that be as full. So it always is changing because it's always based on how you guys are doing and what the trends on the, on the site are at that moment. Um, and then of course, this is the remaining 15%. Uh, so like Jessica mentioned, put that video introduction up, put those 50 photos up, take those nine quizzes. The quizzes are super short. They're like what, like eight? 12 questions, right? It's like, yeah, and it's super easy, and it's stuff that you need to know. These aren't just like random questions about stuff that we think that you don't need to know. They're really important stuff that you need to know, so I definitely suggest taking the quizzes. It'll tell you what you got wrong if you get anything wrong. Go look it up, come back, retake the quiz. It'll help your power score a lot. So um, like we were talking about earlier about um, somebody asked, what to do for their power score, do these items at the bottom. You don't even need to broadcast to upload a video commercial. You don't need to broadcast to upload photos. You don't need to broadcast to upload quizzes. Just take those. It'll give you that boost so you can get online. And if a customer ever says like, oh my God, like you're so beautiful. I wish I had credits to spend on you. Obviously don't give them a show, but be like, no problem. Favorite me, like add an online notification for me because that customer obviously wants to impress you whether they have credits or not at that moment. It's free for them to do this and it helps for your power score and it helps them find you easier. And then really quick, going back to the quizzes, especially if you're a new model, like I really strongly recommend taking all the quizzes because besides you getting to know some of the tools, it'll sort of raise red flags for you. Like you could take a quiz and maybe you got the answer right but maybe you're still not 100% certain on what something is or how something works. So now before you log in, before you go through your hours as a new model being promoted on the site, you can hit up Jessica's team or your studio or whoever and be like, hey, you know, I took this quiz. I don't really have a clear understanding of what party chat is or I don't really have a clear understanding of what group chat is. Like, I got the answer right, but like I'm still not sure. Now we can help you and we could give you the answer and sort of be like, oh, this is how it works so that you log in and you're like, oh, I already know. So like... You, it gives you the opportunity to like figure little things out, not being online. Cause when you're online, it's like you're, there's so many things going on that it's like, ah, like, I don't know what this is. Like, what do I do? So like, it sort of makes that a little less stressful, a little easier. Yes, I agree. 
And, uh, you know, bonuses here, there's more contests. You can see some different contests like the female flirt of the day, male flirt of the day, most popular model of the week, all that kind of stuff. Um, you, if you ever break a rule, you could keep track of the violations here, which are most of the time more like uh, warnings. Flirt of the year is our biggest contest, which is from October to December. So as that gets closer, you could view it here. Um, but now, okay, this is the part that I was like super, super, super excited to show you guys. Okay, so I don't know how many of you guys use this customer activity section, but it's like huge. So basically, this is a fake account, so it's like yours will look a lot different, but like, let's do this. Let's look at May 1st to May 26th. We click on view date, date, view date range, and what's cool is you could customize it. So you can make, the, make it from last year, from last month, for specific days. It'll take a minute to load, but once it loads, what's really cool is it'll give you all the information on the customer activity, like the activity customers have had specifically with you. So especially like if you're going through like a slow period, you could go back and check last month or like if two months ago was like your most incredible month and you don't, you know, you just want to check up, you could go here. It'll tell you where the credits came from, like shows versus tips. It'll show you how many you got. It'll also show you which customers. So again, this is fake. So it, it just shows one, but for you guys, it would break it down. So like if 100 customers tipped you in this pay, in this uh, date range, it would show you all the customers, what percentage of your total credits they account for and like how much it was. So this is like huge because like this is obviously recent. So this is great to look at now. But like, let's say I want to go look up, you know, March 2nd because it was a great day. Or I want to look up, you know, May of 2020 just to compare what my stats were at this time last year, just to see where I've gone or, wh or where I've gone or whatever. So this is a really, really cool um, tool. You could also do it by specific customers. Like if you have a specific customer and you just kind of want to remind yourself, refresh yourself, put it in there and then you look it up specific to that person. Um, so again, this is something that is really, really useful, especially if you're going through like a slow period where you're like, what's going on? Where are my customers? You know, it, it, it just sort of lets you like look at that information. Yes. Um, so Flirt University, again, super important. You yeah, can... lots of videos here, lots of stuff for you to do. This is where your quizzes are. So as soon as you hit your dashboard, get on those quizzes. You can go if you have like a question about something and you're somebody who learns by watching videos, there's a lot of videos on there. So it'll tell you like about party chat. It'll tell you about fake tippers on the site. It'll tell you what to look for. So if you're new, please go watch these videos. It is so helpful to learn right from a video. So you don't have to go and read a bunch of stuff. Just watch the video. They're super easy. They're super short and you learn quickly. And we have videos like on like every topic, like tons of topics. And then the FAQ is cool. Cause like, for example, if you want to know more about party chat, you just type in party and it pulls up all the information that's related to party chats. You could quick, quickly just click in and, and get the info you need. Um, you know, if you have, ever have tech issues, there's a whole section. So like, if you need help on reinstalling, if you're getting the fatal um, error, like you click it and it gives you a guide on like what the error looks like and how to fix it and like the step-by-step. -step. Um, so all of that uh, is here. Credit levels here, you could see what the different credit levels are and how many credits are needed to get to each one and the perks you get with the different ones. The perks are usually like unlimited party or group, unlimited um, mailer access, um, higher rates, you know, things like that. And, uh, yeah, so all that information is here in Flirt University. So it's here for you guys all the time. Um, this member info dashboard, I'm also obsessed with. I don't know how many of you guys use it. I like love it. It shows you who the customer that's most spent on you is, who the highest tipper is, uh, how many favorites you have, and how many notifications you have. Yes, it's super it important. You, you can see the user this. notes on there too, like we talked about earlier. Go and check your user notes. Yes, yeah, so like here it shows you the top customers in terms of spending. So like I see that Takashi69 is my top user. He last visited me May 5th. My second best user has not visited me since January. So I got to see what's happening. So like you click here and if there were any notes, it would show here. It shows you how many privates they've had, all the information. So that's why this is so important because now I want to re-engage this customer from like four months ago. I probably don't really remember a lot about them. So I read the notes. I could send them a message directly from here. I can send them a quick little gift, like whatever it is. Um, and it's just cool because you can keep track of who your top customers are, how much they've spent the last time. Top fans is based on the points. So this shows you the top customers that have earned points. So like every time they send you a message, every time they tip you, take you private, they start earning points that they then can use to send you power boosts and stuff like that. So it shows you all that stuff here. Um, you know, you could also search for a specific customer here. 
uh, if you go to top customers, you could also like look for the last six months, the last 12 months, specific months if you want to go back and look, and it'll update that information for that month. Um, so all that is right here in your member dashboard. Thank you. Fleur Awards, um, especially for new models, a lot of models ask us what the badge means or what the number means. So all that info is right here. Yeah, so it's just about, you know, when you when somebody comes in that you see that little badge, this tells you everything about it. So basically the customers can do stuff to earn uh, Fleur Award points. Um, it gives them all that stuff in their customer dashboard. But this way you know how much they've spent in lifetime and how long they've been on the site and how much they've accomplished. And it's actually a good way for you to accomplish some things as well. So let's say they, you know, they're kind of like lower, they're like a beginner or a freshman, and you don't know if they've ever given a tip flood before, you can say, hey, do you want to give me a tip flood? It'll help towards your foot reward points. It actually motivates them to actually do those things that are on their list if they don't actually know about it. So make sure you bring it up to them. Oh, you had your badge is very low. Do you want to add to your, your foot reward points? Let me help you check some things off. 100% if you think about it, we were all new to Flirt at one point and there's a lot of options. So a lot of new customers, it's not that they don't want to spend or that they're acting shady. It's that they really just have no idea where they are, what they're doing or how to do things. So like you taking the time to kind of explain things could be like, a, like it's, it could change the way a customer views you in the site and what their spending is going to be. Um, so that's really huge. Uh, the color of the badge is based on the customer's lifetime spending. The little number in the middle is based on the recent spending. So um, if you see like maybe like a lower badge with a higher number, that would let me know that it's like a new customer that's spending a lot versus maybe this one with the low number is just a customer that's been on the site for like 20 years, but maybe doesn't spend that much. So that sort of helps you gauge like where they're at as well. Um, and yeah, so what else? So news and announcements. Under miscellaneous, this is a great way again to just keep track of like, oh, I you know I didn't get this email, I didn't see it. Read all about the summit contest, you know whatever it is. Um, and then here in the account settings, here's where you could go to like subscriptions. So this is important because you could put in your email and you could put which subscriptions you want to be set. So like every time you get a new badge or every time you get a new message or a scheduled show, you save it and you'll or a news announcement. It's like whenever we want to update you guys on something new on the site, you'll always get these. Um, emails, like these reports, personal info, you could put in your name, your address, your phone number, so we have it on record. If you ever wanna change your password, you could do it right here. And that's pretty much it, you guys. That was the full tour. I'm gonna let Jessica take over and go over the contact options, which are at the bottom, which are super, super Please. important. Please, yeah, click on that, click on contact. So you guys, you guys don't have to um, email us from like your personal email or anything. You, we have your emails on file when you sign up. So if you want a really quick way to just send us a message, this is gonna go into like our, our ticket system. So we'll get a ticket from you. So it, you can put in your email. If you have a different email that's on file, it'll just auto populate. You can tell us what it is, so the subject, and then just fill in your message. It will go straight to my 24 seven team. We're here 24 seven. I have a 10 person team right now and we're constantly adding more so we can help you guys. We get a lot of email people. so. If you feel like you're not getting help fast enough, or if you ever feel like you weren't helped correctly, please, please put in there that you want it escalated. I will look it over for you. I, I'm i never that busy. I'm always here for you guys too. And my team is working really hard to support you guys. So please use this option so you guys can just contact us really quickly. And if it's a tech issue, definitely use a tech issue. We have a tech department who will help you with anything you guys need. So don't be afraid to be like, my computer's not working we can help you through that stuff. 100%, like literally like never feel like intimidated or scared, like we're literally here to help, like never feel like you're being annoying or like, you know, I always love when models reach out and say, like give me feedback, whether it's good or bad. Like I love this new thing or I hate this, why is this like this? Because one, it shows me that, they, that there's like that relationship that they feel comfortable being like, hey, this doesn't feel right or hey, I love this, but what if it was tweaked? Um, and, I'll, you know, we also have this suggestion tab here where, like, um, you could write in a suggestion here and send it and we get it. You know, a lot of our best tools and a lot of our best updates have come from conversations or from suggestions we've gotten from models because you guys are using this perform app and these tools all day, every day, um, you know, and, and they're for you. So if you guys have stuff like that, always, you know, send it to us. This is a fake customer account, so it doesn't have the little live chat button, but I'm going to enter into a new one real quick. Yeah. So. If you log in, oh wait, where is it? Yes, oh, I can't see, oh, I see. 
Oh, wait, you know what? I know how to do this. Give me one second. I'm going to find another one that does have it. So you, I, we can show you guys really quickly what the, um, the little live chat option looks like. So basically, we go in here to this account, and we scroll down, and it's right here at the bottom. I mean, it, it's there anytime, but if you click here and then click support, you'll be able to live chat with somebody on our support team at any time, and they can jump in and, and help you out with whatever you know you need help with. Yes, and please describe. It says on there, some people don't read this, but it says please describe what you need. Before, like some people just put hi, and then they'll wait for us to respond. Put what you need right away so we can just help you super quick. And then we, you guys, you don't have to wait. The live chat is a live person, so we're 100% live. We're 100% here. We're not bots. We're not going to send you canned responses or anything like that. We're here to support you guys personally. Every single model is very personal to us. So if you're using the live chat option, say what you need help with so we can help you super quick and you don't have to wait on anything. And we can help with literally anything. We are the front line. So if it's anything you need help with, please feel free to just jump in there and let us know what it is. It does not matter. 100%. Um, all right, guys. Well, that was the full tour. I think we have a couple of questions. So I'm going to answer them. We'll answer them real quick. If you have any others, feel free to send them over. So Carlos said, why is the percentage went up ever of 150% plus for new models? So actually new models uh, can log in at any time. Uh, while you're being promoted as new, while you have that flag, log in any time. After that, once those new hours are over, if there's a time where like there are too many models online, models of lower ranking won't be able to enter until there are less. Um, and you know, there are different things you could do. You know, what I recommend is if you get that error, go to your power score and check it out. Look at what categories maybe you're not excelling at, which categories need improvement and try to come up with a plan. Like try to see why is my CPH low? Why is my distinct spenders low? And see what we can do, you know? One easy thing you could do is set up a room receptionist so that the message goes to every single guest user so that you start to get more guest user uh, registrations. Put in a video commercial for guest users. Um, you know, maybe you need to update your photo. Maybe your photo is like a year old. Maybe you need to change up your, your style of, of working. Maybe you're just, you're not clicking with customers or maybe you need to switch your, your schedule. You know, maybe the customers that you're going to attract are morning people and you're working nights. So maybe it's, it's time to maybe see about switching the schedule, you know, little things like that to see like why, what's not working, why isn't it working and how can I fix it, you know? And that's why like use Jessica's team, you know, reach out and be like, hey, I need some feedback. Like what can I do differently or, or reach out to your studio, you know? Um, and you know, everyone's happy to help. Hey, Nina Morris, she asked, do power boosts still count towards the power score? And the answer is yes. So um, the power boost actually didn't change at all with this new version. They still affect you exactly the same. Oh my God, this is so fun. Nina, I've not seen you in years. Yeah, you're so cute. I, know, I miss you. We're excited to hopefully be able to travel again. We're very excited that Summit's back on. You know, we weren't able to have it last year because of COVID. So we're super, super excited to hopefully be able to see a lot of you guys. The contest literally starts, how many days are there in May? 31st. So the contest literally starts on Tuesday, on June 1st. We're giving away more rooms than ever, 60 rooms total. So there's lots of opportunities to win. And we really, really want to see you guys in Cancun and get to hang out. And hopefully we're able to travel to trade shows again soon. Yay. Well, guys, if there's any, any other questions, feel free to send them in. Um, if not, thank you guys so, so much for joining us and sticking it out. This was a long one. They're normally not this long. Um, and thank you so much, Jessica. It was so incredible to have you. It was so fun. Thanks. Yes, I want you guys to trust in my team. I promise that if you know you don't feel comfortable talking to somebody, they will give you to me. So if you want to talk to someone else, don't worry about it. But my team is super reliable. I have trained all of them personally, and they really love helping you guys. They are here to support. That's all we want to do. So please make sure you guys contact us if you have any questions. Don't be afraid. Don't just go around doing stuff that you don't know how to do or you don't know how to use something that's in the model admin. Just come talk to us. We will help you. All right, guys. Happy Thursday. I hope you all have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. And hopefully we see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.